right, so it was brought to my attention that well, not everybody that watches um, watches this Facebook page is a farmer, so some of you guys might not know sort of some of the ins and outs. So we're full, green cart's full. There's our truck. So we've got our switches on a timer. So this is my auger. Flipping that out, Let's see it going out. And it's on a timer, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna basically gonna open up and then it's gonna shut itself off so the hydraulic pump isn't running, which isn't necessarily a big deal, but you know, it definitely prolongs the life of things. So then it's up to me to pull up to this thing. Well, do my job right, which is really hard when you're trying to be a camera guy too, as it turns out. It's actually, once you catch on to doing it, it's pretty easy. I remember when I was a kid, the first few times I did this, I was about ready to crap myself. All right, we got the auger pretty much over the truck. Pretty well there. We want it right in the middle. You know, like so. It's not perfect, obviously. But the good thing about these Kinsey's, we can adjust our spout like that with, with this switch here. All right. PTO, we want to idle down so that it's not a big jolt on the PTO. Here's our PTO button. We're flipping that over. PTO is now on. This is what we call the gate or the belt. So I'm gonna push this forward and that's gonna let the corn come out. Now you can see the corn coming out. Now I'm just gonna throttle up so that we can get, you know, we can get it out in a reasonable amount of time. Like so. So I'm running the PTO at about 650 roughly, give or take, is where we want that. Ah, sorry, doing a little adjusting here. Like I said, we're, this is a dump trailer. I mean, any trailer you want it right in the middle, but this dump trailer in particular, uh, we want the corn right in the middle if we can. That way there's no chance of tipping the trailer. I mean, that's a, it's a minute possibility, but it's also more strain on your cylinder and on your trailer if uh, your load is completely off to one side or the other or whatever. It's just, you know, just good practice to have it in the middle. Now we can see it piling up there. I'm gonna let it go a little farther. That's, that's pretty good. I'm gonna just pull up a little bit get some more right there I probably could have put more there but we're gonna fill we're gonna fill this truck with what we got anyway so it's not gonna matter too much gotta readjust a little bit there sorry guys yeah gonna let that fill a little more could have went could have went a little more there he said it's hard to do this and narrate and camera at the same time. So don't give me too much trouble here. I guarantee you uh, I've done this as much as anybody on this planet at this point. I've, ha I've, I've had to have loaded thousands and thousands of trucks at this point in my life. I mean, I've been doing this for uh, 25 years anyway. Alright, so we're about full. That gate switch that I was telling you about, the belt, the gate switch. Once that kind of reaches full, I'm going to flip that and I'm going to pull up. So that's going to fill that last little load. Now if I wanted to just add a little bit more, I'd kind of bump that open. But uh, I think that's pretty good. That's that's nice. I like that. I'm just going to give it some, some throttle. We're going to rev it up. It's just going to clean out that auger a little bit. There we go, that's pretty good. We'll take it back down to idle. Flip off our PTO. I'm gonna look back here. It's hard to see here, but you can see the PTO shaft back there. Once that stops spinning, I know we're safe to refold this auger in. Now you're gonna see a little bit of corn come out. It's just the way it is on these Kinsey's. And I think every every grain cart. Uh, we've, we've only run Kinsey's as far as in my lifetime. We did have some I think an older J&M, but that was before I was around, really. Anyway, fold it back up, hammer down, head back to the combine. That, guys, right there, 
is basically what a grain cart does.